Hello everyone, I'm back again. This is Michael with the Papery. Today I'm going to try something I've never done before and I don't know that I've seen it done but I'm sure it has been. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, I'm going to take a window envelope and I'm going to make a belly band with a pocket tag and a flip up journal spot. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's gonna take almost all of the envelope. This is my uh, prototype here. Okay, so this is the piece that's gonna go here and fold up. And then underneath that, in here there will be a tag so you can see something through the window. And it will be a belly band. So let's uh, give that a whirl. So the first thing you need to do is find an envelope, a window envelope. Um, but one of the things you should look for is to make sure that there is, you know, a fair amount of space here because of the fact that I'm going to use this. Now you don't have to use something like this. You could just cut it out or however you want to do it to make a punch there. And in order to do that, we have to have a fair amount here to punch. So to start out with, um, let's see, this envelope is open down here. What I'm going to do is take and cut open this envelope up. Well, this one's too big for me to put in there. So first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is, uh, okay, so this piece here from the envelope is eight by two and a quarter. So I guess I'm going to, at this point, I will mark where I need to cut. Okay, that's two and a quarter and this is eight. So, so that's what I'm going to do. So first we're going to cut off the length here. And it doesn't have to be exactly just, you know, make it so that um, when you go to put it on your page, you know, you have enough room to glue it down. So that's the deal there. And then here, this I think is the two and a quarter. And again, it doesn't have to be this exact size. You can, you know, do whatever you want. So now we have this, you have to open up this end. So I'm just going to try and take just a sliver. No, that's not going to work. Okay. There, just a sliver off of that to open it up. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to lay that aside. Now here's the part of the envelope that we just cut off. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this end, sliver off of this, well, like that, and I'm going to open up the other side, there. Now, of course, you just want to make sure that these are going to fit, this is going to fit inside there, and that one of them is going to cover your window and they do so and um, that's basically it now um, on this one I punched my hole in there already but you don't have to do that until after you cover your papers um, oh I forgot to cut one of these down and again you can make your um, you're going to fold this over with just a tiny bit there so it can be glued inside that that 
notch you got there and then just make it however long you want it. I made mine fairly long, but you don't have to. This piece here is six and three quarters by one and a half. And then this piece, which is the tag that goes inside, is seven and a quarter by one and a half. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to mark these and cut it off with a just like that so you wind up with three pieces so you have the window part of the envelope and you have the one part that is um Again, going to be seven and a quarter by one and a half for the tag itself. And then another piece that is going to be, um, what did I say? Six and three quarters by one and a half. Okay. And um, what we're going to do on this smaller one is we're just going to fold over just a tiny piece like not even a quarter of an inch, okay? <clears throat> and that is what is going to go in that. Um, now I'm using, this is a stamping up punch, but like I said, you don't have to uh, have that. If you have something else similar, um, you can use that, or you can just, you know, draw it out and then cut it out with a knife. But I'm going to use this because it's a little bit easier. Now you want to make sure you leave a fair amount here so that it stays fairly sturdy. We will be covering this anyway, but there. Okay, so there you go. And so this piece is going to glue on the inside of this tab little opening here I think it fits yep yeah, like that and cover the window and then this is going to become the tag that goes inside like this okay and that's really all there is to it now it's just decorating um, I have uh, gone ahead and you know pre-prepared um, some things that Okay, there goes my glue. <laughs> oh, okay. Prepared some uh, things that will fit this first prototype that I had. So, um, and this is all that you're really going to wind up with that's left of the envelope. And you know, you could make something out of that, or you can get rid of it if you want. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I think take some paper just a plain old paper um, I have some of this this is paper that um, you get off of Amazon I can't remember what they call it um, but it's just a, almost like a straw paper type thing. And I'm going to take and I'm going to cover the back of my two small strips.
decided that I'm going to put um, a little tag here because there's not enough room here to put a little pull. So I think I'm just going to do this with the tag on it so that, you know, people can see that it can be pulled out. So before I do that, I am going to So, as I said, that's going to go in here like that to go over the top of this. Okay, now comes the hard part. Um, covering the top of this. The easiest way for me has always been collage. But um, you can, and I've seen like Angela Kerr do this, you can put a full piece on there, and then what she does is she just takes her pencil and she kind of, when she's got the thing, she lifts it up and she kind of puts a mark where the window is, and then she cuts that out of the paper. Um, I've tried that a couple of times, and it, it works, but it's kind of finicky. I'm going to take my punch and, you know, to make that a little bit stronger, I think I'm going to take just a little piece of 
cardstock. And glue it there because I don't want it to um, end up tearing really easily or anything. So I think I'm just going to... I actually want it to go from one end to the other, though. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just... Just on the inside to make it look... Or make it a little stronger is all. So I'm going to take my art glitter glue... course if I do that I'm not going to be able to see my punch but that's okay we'll figure it out okay I'll cut that off oh that had a little tag on it <laughs> oh well okay now I'm going to let that dry a little bit All right, hopefully now this is dry enough that we can punch that. Trying to figure out what's the best way to... Now I am going to stick this in here and glue it down inside here. You can see what I'm doing. I will do is put a little piece of paper over that so that when you go to put your um, tag in it, paper, uh, tape is what I meant, sorry, just so that when you put your tag in there, it doesn't catch on it and it hopefully will help keep that down. So there we are. I think it's a little crooked, but oh well. Now, if you wanted to, you could round the corners or whatever, but you're going to have to, you know, kind of work this back and forth for a little bit so that it, you know, comes up e easier. Okay, so now all we have left to do is to close this up.
and dirty hands everywhere. Oh well. Okay. Do that. And then we go ahead and we put our tag in there. I think that's pretty neat because the number shows through there. <laughs> that I just didn't expect to happen, but hey. And there you go. And you would just, you know, glue it on the back up there and down here. You could make it, you know, so it's it's the belly band, or you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to. Um, but there you go, and then you can lift this up, see the picture, and have a journaling spot, and then here's your tag. So that is my um, all in for St. Jude's for today. And um, I will try and finish up the rest of them and then um, come back and show you how I have uh, done those. So thanks so much for watching. Um, thanks so much for following us during this All In for St. Jude's. Um, it's been fun, and I have enjoyed it. I hope you ha all have a good day, and uh, we will see you again soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back here with the finished product. Um, fun. I really enjoyed it. So let's take a look at them. Here's the ink. Then you can put it down in your journal as a um, belly band if you want. And you don't have to, I guess, if you don't want to. But that was my initial thought. And anyway, so that is Celestial. Hopefully you can see that. This one is um, for meadow. I think that's very pretty. And there's here's the tag that comes out for that one. And um, the first one that I did, this celestial one, what the paper that I put on there came out so that there was a number looking through here. And I liked it so much that I made sure that I put a tag on every single one that I did so that it would show through that window. So that was Meadow. This is the um, Northwoods. And then here's the tag for that one. And as I said, you can see the words or numbers through. This one is the Bohemian. This one I just punched out flowers and um, put it on there and colored and doodled around them. So that's that one there. And you can see some of the flowers from the tag through there. And then here is the tag. So that is the um, finished four belly band um, tag journaling spot. Yes, I really enjoy doing the uh, project. So hope you enjoyed it. If you make some of them, um, please share them on our social media. We would love that. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.